Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. Um, I feel like it's been a while since I've done just like a flip cup, so we're going to do that today. And also, I've done something a little different. In the bottom of this cup, I sprayed a little bit of the um, blaster silicone. So I just thought that would be fun. And we're going to go ahead and kind of do some bright, rainbowy kind of colors. This is a 12 by 12 canvas. Um, so I'm going to use probably about 8 ounces of paint. I'll just go ahead and fill this up. Okay, and another difference, if you notice, I didn't use any black in here. So just uh, red, yellow, blue, and white. And we're going to go ahead and flip this. And if you'll notice, um, because I sprayed the silicone on there, um, the paint's just coming right out. I'm going to actually take you in for a quick close-up on that. So you can totally see inside the cup. It just didn't stick at all to that, which is interesting. Um, I actually don't think I've ever tried this method of spraying it in the cup like that on the bottom. At least not for a long time. So there you go. Alright, so let's go ahead and pull this off and we'll see how, how this looks. So I do like that it all came out of the cup. I'm not going to have any leftover paint on this one. Um, that's kind of exciting. Look at that. Like... Totally empty cup. Um, you just got to remember next time that you did use silicone in there. So any future paintings you do with that same cup will have silicone. All right, and look at these awesome cells developing. And I I really love doing the rainbow colors, like just bright and yeah. Let's go ahead and tilt this around and see what we get. nice I really like this all right so as usual let's go ahead and we'll let this sit here for a bit I'm sure a lot will develop since we did have that silicone in there and then uh, we'll come back and we'll see how it looks okay so we're back it's been like 10 minutes or so this is super exciting look at all these fun cells and very rainbowish, very bright. I like it. All right, so let's go ahead and do our close up. So, this is the lower right hand corner. In this section, we got cells within cells within cells. <laughs> um, going up here to the upper right hand corner, that's a blue and red in there. This area is kind of fun. And then the upper left hand corner. And then this is my favorite, this whole section here. I love lacing. I like the smaller cells, really, rather than the bigger ones. Um, so this whole area in here, I think, is just gorgeous. And I like how it has all the colors 
Like, look, we got some like teal and kind of turquoisey in there. Lots of fun lacing. Look at that orange lacing. That's so pretty, I think. <laughs> That's what I like. That's kind of my more my taste. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, a couple quick tips. One is if you're using a spray silicone, I do recommend that you do it outside because it is uh, airborne, right? So you don't want to contaminate anything else in your work area. And also when using any kind of silicone, in general, less is better. If you use too much, you'll go, you'll see straight through to the canvas and you'll have basically like kind of pits throughout which you, which defeats the purpose. You won't just get cells, you'll get like pits. So use only um, a little bit and there's several different ways that you can do it. If you haven't checked out my video on a couple different ways to use silicone, check that out. I'll, I'll put it right up here. Uh, and then otherwise, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.